I'm not talking about people that are a little off. You know what I'm talking about. The type of crazy I'm talking about yeah. are just fucking valueless. Mm -hmm. right? And I'm sick and because they always come back and hurt the rest of us. They right. either snap and do shit like this, or their whole lives are built stalking people, or they have families that they fucking uh, obsess over and, and destroy their lives. Mm -hmm. They're just worthless. All you have to do is have a Twitter account to realize there's a lot of mentally ill pe uh, people out there. Yeah. But they're not so crazy that they're not afraid of getting... Like, like, this kid was crazy. Right. But most of them know better, and they don't want to get caught, and they walk a certain line, so they're not that fucking crazy. Right. <laughs> they're oh, not that yeah. fucking nuts. Oh, right. There's a, a lot of degrees of crazy, obviously. This motherfucker. But that's the that's the crazy. that's mm -hmm. the number one issue uh, that that uh, is is uh, playing out here. This guy was fucking nuts. Nuts. You, fucking I, nuts. And and I honestly believe, and it's it's terrible, but this is the the truth. I I I, I honestly believe there is no surefire way to prevent these things from happening. It, we we live in an imperfect world where we're organic beings. We're not digital. There's no on off switches. Uh, it it will happen again. Well, one reason why this will happen again is because of all the awesome coverage this gets. Oh, awesome coverage. Boy. You make a, a I, legend I mean, out of these people. I mean, when we were growing up, when you were fucking nuts and you were miserable and you were depressed and you you lived uh, not in the light, as mm -hmm. uh, Patrice used to say. <laughs> You would uh, go in your fucking basement and you would hang yourself. It, yeah. A lot of hangings. A lot of hangings. <laughs> back went, in the day. Back in the day. Now you're like, fuck that. I could go out in a blaze of fucking glory. Look at, look at, look at yep. the coverage I could have. Be a, be a somebody. Finally be a somebody. Because that, that is the difference between... I mean, there was not as many guns in the 70s, but there was enough guns on the street where people could have been doing this more often. Right. It's the media coverage. You didn't have 24... You didn't make anti-heroes or heroes even, because they're mm -hmm. heroes to the people that want to do it, right. yeah. out of these shooters. And they know better. Yeah. And they still... The Drudge Report I love because they're very rarely wrong, but they have been like the worst offenders of all. Mm -hmm. On at least online stuff, it's like they're fucking, you know, the goth killer. Oh, and I know. They and they, yeah, yeah. What the fuck are you guys doing? You know better. Yeah. Because they're asking questions like, "What is different?" Well, I mean, twenty-four hour uh, news certainly uh, helps helps yep. this shit along, you know. But they'll all go up there and make believe. Oh, we're just, uh, we're just. Uh, we're just giving you the news yeah. as they throw a three-year-old in front of their cameras. Yeah, that was a little much right there. <sighs> what kind of teacher was Who was it? It was shown on CNN. They said it wasn't a CNN reporter who asked her, but of course they still showed it. Was some woman asking this little kid questions about, uh, oh, the little girl was describing the carnage inside the fucking Jesus building. And she was actually, I think it was a girl, she was describing it pretty Matter of factly, she might have still been in shock. Right, of course. Yeah. And the fucking lady goes, "Well, now were kids screaming for their mothers to come and uh, get them?" Holy yeah. Jesus! And it's like I, I would, I would like to take a wrench and knock this reporter's fucking. Of course, that's news. Of course, because you, because we fucking vulture. I, 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 they don't even have enough confidence. Uh, these these all news uh, channels, all of them. You know, they they got to make sure it really fucking hurts. I guess. Trust yeah, me, yeah, trust yeah. me. We all get this. We all get it. Holy fuck! Maybe you could do that. Maybe you could uh, uh, do it with some other stories because you're not really sure where so someone's head is at. If but on kid, this one, we all fucking get it. Even if the kid is like very matter of factly answering these questions, you don't know what the reasoning is. the The kid should be like debriefed by a fucking shrink, yeah. or at least their parents, yeah. before some reporter comes up and starts fucking asking them questions that could. You don't know if it's going to be damaging right. in the future to. To approach a kid like and, that, and then um, you know, assholes. I was watching all of them, so I'm not pointing, um, you know, particular fingers. Uh, somewhere around uh, Saturday afternoon, they went with the somber music in and out. Oh, I saw that. Yeah, because yeah. that punches up the sadness a little yeah, more too, you right? Need that. You, you really do need that because because uh, uh, yeah. we need to be even sadder about it because uh, they're, they're not sure we're really hurting by by this news and this story. <laughs> You just can't even fucking imagine what the hell kind of lunatic it takes to look at those kids and do that. And, and the, the thing is, you like the, when he shoots himself. There's like at least with this this dirtbag in Aurora, as, as much as he's hateable, you can look at him and think of driving. There's a place to kind of mentally focus mm. the fucking vitriol mm -hmm. or vitriol. Mm -hmm. you, right. There's nobody here because he's dead.
Yeah, which is yeah. almost. But you know what I would do? I would I would drag that asshole out of the courtroom in Aurora. You know, he gets to go into the courtroom every two months or so. I would drag him out onto the street and go, guess what? We're taking it out of you. Sorry. Yeah. You did this as well. We're killing you today. What? Yeah, that's what Shit. we need to do. Sweeping changes. Drastic fucking changes. That's what we need to do. And cover it differently. And cover it differently. They're, they're not, not going to cover it differently. No, they're not. They're, they're, they're not. Because no. if you decide to do the right thing, someone will pop up in your place. Because the because it's a weird thing. Because as much as a lot of us get pissed off by the coverage, are we watching? Yep. We're all watching. We're it's, all guilty. It's like they have a, a disaster or a... Uh, some kind of a, a template that they use on these news stations. Well, they a, could just pop in a program and go, oh, there's been a shooting. Let's use this as as our thing, which is all the graphics, this, the music. Well, you've seen that famous video, right, where they go through the whole thing? Mm. The guy speaks about what not to do. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, there's a video where they basically uh, call out the media you know, on this shit. Mm. And they go, yeah, and then you talk to the victims, blah, blah, here, oh, yeah, and it's... then you sensationalize this. You've never seen that? No. Oh, my God, it's this guy, whoever came up with it, is brilliant. I'll have to check it out. I think I, I saw it a link ago. to it. You it did you? Yeah, it was the, it's the guy who goes, don't start the story with sirens blaring. Right. Is that the guy? He's like a psycho an FBI guy or a psychologist, mm. and he's uh, been telling the media for years about what not to do. Oh, uh, really? Yeah. I wonder if it's the same one. I saw that you tweeted that, and I assumed it was the same video I saw a few years back. But I did that. Like I, I, was, I bashed the media in a tweet. And then fucking 10 minutes later, I, w I turned on the TV and I was seeking out coverage. And I'm uh, like, you know what? I, yeah. I'm, I'm, I'm a part of it because I do want to know more. There's a weird line there between the public wanting to know and you wanting to know and how much is too much and what's the right or wrong way to present it. Because if you present these things in the way that it should be presented to maybe prevent these things from happening in the future, mm. from making these people antiheroes... Will people watch? Will they go to the next station where they are doing that? Mm. You know, and you as people, we kind of want to know what's going on. We want the gory details. I don't know why people are fucking uh, crazy. Yeah. <sighs> and I know that like the gun issue. I know Aunt, you were on Twitter, and I, and I know people have are very passionate. And but yeah, I, I do think that some guns are a part of it, but it's mm. not. The ultimate problem is fucking mental illness. Yeah. That is the real... Because even with guns, you know, if you put enough guns, I'm not going to go scoot, shoot innocent children. Or, right. It's fucking well, mental illness and the way these fucking burdens well, are handled.